The Nintendo Switch dock is somewhat of a debated topic right now due to mass paranoia of people scratching their screens. I haven't experienced it personally because I threw a screen protector on mine as soon as I could, but I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there who ran into that horrible issue, one of them being Blunty, another guy who covers Nintendo stuff, his screen got fucked up. I know a lot of people are scared from that. He's saying that the only way it happened is from the dock because he didn't do anything else to the Switch. So definitely be careful. But because of the paranoia of the dock, there's a lot of people who, including myself, are very minimalist when it comes to putting the dock inside or rather putting the switch inside of the dock, taking it out. I mean, and even though my front screen hasn't gotten scratched, you won't be able to see it on camera, but there's some very fine scratches on the back of the switch, and I haven't had this thing in anywhere but the carrying case and the dock. So it scratches shit. There's paranoia for a reason. I don't care what Nintendo or Reggie says, that dock means a little bit of trouble. Although, by the way, just gotta give a quick shout out to Nintendo. They sold 1.5 million units within the first week of the Nintendo Switch launch. That is major, and that's the first week. We're in week almost number two by now, so you know they probably sold close to two million at this point. Very good shit, Nintendo. I'm proud of you. The Switch is on a damn good path. But back to the topic at hand, fuck this dock. Now, there seems to be people that are taking this to an extreme measure. Because if you look at the hardware of the dock, you'll notice that there really isn't too much going on. It feels kind of cheap. But the only important components are what's inside of this little box here. So what if you were able to just take the little box, remove all this extra screen scratching plastic, and just have that box itself for the conversion of the signal to HDMI? Somebody apparently already thought of this, and this guy, to be honest, is a damn genius. The final version of the My Dock to Travel dongle, 75% smaller than the actual dock. So I'm guessing he did what I just said, took the damn box right out. We got to look at this. This is on a Reddit page. I'm going to have this linked in the description so you can see for yourself. But just on the pictures of this, I knew I had to talk about this with you guys. I'm guessing he just did a little bit of soldering work, removed the box, and bam, has a functional conversion switch well, a conversion box on the go for his Switch. That is so innovative. I gotta give the dude props. There's more pictures that I did not see for myself yet. So we're gonna go in here. There's 22 images. Nintendo Switch working travel HDMI dongle station mod. And I don't know if he like, that looks like etched glass right there. Really sexy look. Finally got my USB-C extension cable so I could test it out. Many of you have seen the 3D printed monstrosity I made the other day, but here's a much cleaner looking final piece. As you can see, the switch is sitting on top of it and the signal from the USB-C is going right into the dock right there. Now, the only thing is this does have a USB-C uh, cable in the bottom, obviously, but it doesn't really stick out. I'm guessing he was able to convert this little um, USB-C nub into a full cable so that way the switch wouldn't have to be like directly on top of this thing in order for the signal to come out, especially since it's loosely attached. So it would probably be falling out and disconnecting if you just cut all the plastic and just left the little nub there. So he managed to convert it to a full cable length. Very impressive stuff right there. To looking at more of the pictures, as you can see, it's fully functional. And it's, it's sitting right there. This is so clean. One thing I got to tell you, as I think third-party accessory makers are going to jump on top of this in no time. So maybe in like a few months, we're going to be seeing little conversion boxes for the Nintendo Switch, which will do the exact same job that this guy did for himself, for everybody. Wouldn't that be sick? That would be an instantaneous buy because it gets rid of the whole having to put the whole thing inside of the dock, removes the potential for damage. And to be honest, it's fairly easier. That kind of sounds like blasphemy, but to be honest, Nintendo, it's way easier than doing the whole dock method although the dock method does have a better aesthetic to it but not when it's fucking up my devices unnecessary right there looking at more of these pictures dude i'm loving it to be honest this is going to be a day one buy for me the second anything like this becomes available in real life and as you can see he really it was really a home done job man but it looks really good I'm wondering how hot that thing must get. I'm, I really like the job this guy did on this. Major props. I'm going to leave this in the description. He breaks down the entire process. But to be honest, it doesn't seem like it would be too difficult to me. As long as you have access to the proper tools to be able to cut the plastic out, you can do this probably on your own. It wouldn't look anywhere near as good as how he did it, though, since he has like the, the glass look and the mirror and all that. But still really, really sexy stuff here. The questions are going in. This is stuff that I love seeing right here. Even though it goes against what Nintendo initially wanted the product to be, I think 
this is just way more effective for the consumer. So we'll see where it goes, man. Big props once more. And by the way, guys, for some reason, Faku hit me up and they were like, oh, do you want any um, codes for the, uh, what, what's the name of that thing? The Mega Milk uh, Hentai Dojin Download? You remember that one with the guy who looks like Naruto and his sister and shit? It was pretty fucked up. It's actually really fucked up, but I mean, they gave me some download codes. So it's not like a sponsorship, pay promotion or anything. They literally just said, here, take these, give them away to niggas. You don't have to run into ads. You don't have to download nothing unless you just, you know, you're going to download the damn magazine. But I mean, if you guys are interested, all you got to do is make me laugh in the comments of this video for two hours after the video goes up. I'll choose one comment. And if you make me laugh, I'll, I'll give you one of the codes. I have like four of them. So I'm going to be giving them away at random times and random videos for random reasons. So if you're interested, check it out. But anyways, guys, also Joy-Con Boy shirts are back in business. As you can see, I'll have those in the description too. And I will talk to you all in the next video definitely give props to this guy i'm actually going to probably try to get my hands on another dock and then do my own home kitchen magician type shit to cut the box out and maybe make the process work but the only thing would be the little nub that the usb-c connector would have to have to the switch itself so that'll always be that, that, that'll be an obstacle for me i can't do no soldering work but i can break the plastic at least talk to you guys in the next one peace